So is that what you called to do is to just sit here and just scream at me? Is that a threat? I don't know. It's okay for your wife to go on Facebook and passively aggressively talk about me when I sent her a private message. So. No, I'm not being argumentative at all. I just made a comment about crime, and your wife obviously. Excuse me. Okay, just talk. Uh, you don't want me to talk. It's the same as what your wife did. Just keep speaking. That's fine. I'll listen. All right, then, then talk, Crabby. Come on. What do you have to say to a man? What are you, you 16? You're going to call me names now? You're going to you're call me Crabby? Okay, what's the difference in that and anything I've said? You're going to call me names? Well, you, you, know, you, 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 you claim that uh, you, you're giving my wife shit because she's a liberal. Well, you're acting like a liberal. No, I'm not. I, I didn't, a, like I didn't ask for, I, I didn't ask for any kind of... Excuse me. I didn't ask for any kind of retaliation. I made a comment. I didn't call anybody names. And she blocked me off of the community page. I think that's a little inappropriate. Or a lot inappropriate. Oh, I don't have a right to an opinion? I, I didn't have a right to make a comment on an opinion? She's in charge of the community rhetoric? Who anointed her queen? Or you king? I'm sorry. I don't get it. Okay. Can you read the neighborhood newsletter? We can put on to take off anybody we want. Sure, you can, and you can also suffer the consequences of people's opinion when you do it. Suffer the it, it works two ways. It works two ways, sir. It works two ways. I'm not the one cussing at you right now. You're cussing at me. Well, you seem to have toned down slightly since since your your text. Are you one of those tough guys in text? No, I, I simply sent a text. I didn't send you a text. I sent her one. She can go on Facebook. She can block me off of Facebook, okay? She can block me off of Facebook and say whatever she wants, like I can't see it or somebody's not going to send it to me. And then you can call me up and call me a dicktard. That makes a lot of sense for neighbors to act like that. I, I think it's a... a lot of sense is having issues with the bus speeding through the neighborhood. And what do you do? You speed behind the bus and run every stop sign at ran. Okay, what does that have to do with anything we're talking about? Why don't you just come up with a litany of grievances that are personal about something as simple as a community forum where I simply made a hyperbolic comment and I disagreed with her. In this day and age, in the heat of the, the world, that's your in, opinion. You say things like round people up and shoot them. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. And you have a right to that opinion, and I have a right to my opinion. I just left a community that had this kind of rhetoric and behavior who let crime run out of control because you couldn't live there anymore. And if we continue this sort of rhetoric and division over some, somebody's comments, we're going to have the same problem in Walkendaw. And you can't see it and you don't know it because you just didn't move back to Charleston from Atlanta. You don't see what happens when everybody gets all bent around the axle about some little comment somebody makes who's upset about crime, who's just went through all of this for the last three years. Now, you can't see that. People's little feelings are hurt, okay? And then they block people and shut down conversation. You went out of the way to text her and the things you said in the text, which she had screenshots of. You're the one attacking somebody. I am now, absolutely. I, I raised my hand. Absolutely, because she attacked me in her own way. She can't call me by name, but she can certainly block me and then make a passive aggressive post the next morning. She certainly can. Okay, and I have the right to my opinion. And I'm sorry that my reaction is a little shocking to everybody because I don't put up with being canceled or woke culture or other people thinking they can control dialogue. It's fine. You're right. You started the page. You can do whatever you want with it. That's true. But there are also consequences for treating people with a dismissive tone and behavior. And that is what she has done. And I have not been rude or impolite or otherwise anything but as neighborly as I possibly can be to everyone in this community. And to be canceled off of a page where we all share ideas and exchange things and help each other because of my opinion about criminal behavior is absurd. It's absurd.
And I don't expect you to agree with me, but that's how I feel. And I have a right to feel that way. And, and she, what she did was, uh, was essentially in a passive way, attack me and shut me down for something for which she disagrees with. And it's just not right. Well, your comment was flagged by numerous people. She's not even on Facebook. She had to be, she didn't go look at it until she saw the letter in the, the neighborhood newsletter, the story about Facebook. That my, well, the neighborhood newsletter had nothing to do with my comment. Ten neighbors flagged your comment. I, I don't care. We have 250, 300 houses. Ten people didn't like it. Okay, so what? There's I see stuff in there. We have over 410 houses in the neighborhood. Uh, oh, uh, okay, three, 400. Okay, semantics don't matter. That's even worse. So basically, 2% of the neighborhood didn't like a comment. So whoever, 2% of the neighborhood decides they don't like a comment, and Queen Liz decides to block everybody. That makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of comments I don't like, but I don't, I'm not in favor of blocking them. I didn't like the one Driggers made, but I'm not in favor of Driggers being blocked. That was wrong, too. Because, hey, the Facebook page called him out. Everybody went to Borkowski's defense. And in my own way, I did too. And it said to him, that was not a good comment to make. But no, nobody can handle the conflict. They don't want conflict. They want to shut everybody down that makes their little feelings get hurt a little bit. And they want to turn them off because they don't want to hear anything. And that's why this country and and soon our communities are in such a freaking mess. Because nobody can handle competing opinions without wanting to cancel or attack. And I am not, I am not the attacker here. I am just counterpunching. You went out of your way to find her Instagram. You threatened to write bad reviews. Oh, I already did write reviews because she made it clear she doesn't do personal Facebook only for business. So to me, okay, this is her business. Well, wait a second. Then what do you have to do with her business? She's never taken your picture. You've never taken her tour. So you're just, that's cancel culture. You're just being a pussy. No, I'm just writing. No, I'm not being any. You're you're the one name calling here. Yeah, is that a threat? You're like the Peachtree Street, why don't you? You gave up on that consistency. You couldn't take it. It's you, listen, I, I've taken calls on the radio for 25 years with people that are far well, worse than you. Well, You're not going to say anything to me that's, that's going to offend me. You're not going to say a word to me that's going to offend me, so you can keep trying to jab at me like a 16-year-old boy to try to get me upset. Uh, yeah. And it's not going to happen. Uh, I can handle it. I don't give a shit. I, I don't care. I know you were on the radio. And I would think as a guy on the radio, you'd have some sense, except you're a little close to this because it's your wife. That's right. Bingo. I don't mind. I don't mind that you're upset for your wife. I don't care. Hey, listen, if I would be upset, too, if I was on the other end of my wife. But I'd also look at my wife and say, you know, honey, maybe you shouldn't have blocked the guy. Because it can all go away, and nothing else has to be said. But nobody gets to control the rhetoric of somebody else, and if they have the right to legally, that's one thing. All right, but they don't get to do it and just get away with it. Well, I'll just snake Plissken the whole fucking webpage, and then nobody can be on it. That'd be a good idea. Then one can be started that's run by the actual... Well, start one. I mean, you've got 500 other things you're into. Start a website. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't really care to. I can say all the retarded shit I want now on my own Facebook page. Yeah, I know. Great privacy settings. I read all your retarded shit. Okay. You leave me alone. You stop texting her. How do you think about everything else in the business? You come in my life, you come in after me. I'm not coming after you at all. I have an opinion. I've shared it. That's it. So, okay.